Hello everyone, it's Cherie. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to hop on and have a little chat and catch up because it's been oh, forever. Um, and I wanted to share these two journals. So this one is one is I made for myself. And this one my sister asked me to make so she could give it as a gift to somebody. So I think I'm going to do two separate videos, but I will post them at the same time just because I don't want this video to be crazy long. And um, so yeah, so I'll post them at the same time. So you will see the flip, through, blah, the flip through of this one. It just will be on a separate video. So I still have this journal and I'm still working in it, which I still love. And it's very inspiring for me to get into it, but... I have, um, a, I, my printer broke and I basically lost my mojo for a very long time. Um, as far as working in my journal, I, my camera arm broke, my printer broke. It was just like one thing after the other. And I've had a lot of crazy things happen in life. And, um, so yeah, so I kind of lost my mojo to actually get in my journal and work in it. Because I didn't I wasn't able to print my pictures and um, yeah so I need to fill this one up and I've kind of been going back and forth well do I want to just complete this one or do I want to just start working in this one but now time has just kind of flown by and next thing I know it's like you know about to be fall again so I think I'm just gonna continue to work in this one and fill it up and you know if I'm documenting stuff from last year along with this year then that's okay with me I'm fine with it just so long as I get you know my my memories down they don't have to be in um, an order or whatever you know it's it's not a big deal so yeah so I don't I still have a ton of space I have not um, I haven't hardly done anything in this journal so I'm I'm just decided that I'm just gonna go ahead and fill her up and keep working in it now this one I made a while ago and <clears throat> excuse me I made it for my spring and summer which is just about over so if that tells you anything um, so I haven't been journaling but I have been I haven't stopped buying stuff I guess you could say <laughs> Like, I'm still shopping, like, I'm journaling every day or crafting every day. It's terrible. I got a pro I got a serious problem. I would rather buy craft supplies than I would, like, a new pair of shoes or a wardrobe or something. I'm, it's just, <laughs> I got problems. <laughs> Please don't judge me. So, um, I, but I need to start using my stuff up. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and hop into this. And I have... A vintage doily here and this is I believe it I'm pretty sure it's a feed sack uh, fabric and a little piece of trim here and a little collage patch page here and then I I went ahead <clears throat> and decided to do my closure on this spine um, this go around typically I will do it on the back side of the journal but just to kind of switch it up, I, I put it on the spine here. And I like it. I like them both. Either way is fine with me. Um, but you guys let me know which way do you think is better from the back. Which I mean they both still close on the this spine. But there is a, um, you know, the closure here. I also um, was watching Roxy Creations. And I used to cross stitch when I was younger. But I started trying to do a little embroidery um, recently, and I really like this a lot. I th I don't even know. I think this was a. I don't know where I got. I, it's not a pattern. I think I was just looking at something, and just did it. And then I tried this because she was doing her journal of stitchery, which I didn't do a journal, but I was just kind of playing around with it. Um. And I, I did this. This I'm not really thrilled about, but I love this here. And, but it's okay. It's, it's, you know, it's not a big deal to me. I still like the way that it looks. 
Um, if I was to do it again, I probably would do this a little differently, but I, it still adds lots of character and I'm okay with it. So anyway, so how has everybody been doing? Is everybody well? Doing good? Enjoying life? I'm sure. What do y'all normally do when you lose your mojo? I think this is the longest period of time that I've gone without journaling since I started journaling. So I also got a part-time job. My daughter is, I felt, you know, old enough to, to, um, for me to go back to work. And it was just an opportunity I couldn't pass up. And I'm able to be home after she gets out of school. So I've been, you know, working too, which is another reason why I have not been journaling because there's a little bit of chunk of time throughout my week that I would typically be crafting or, you know, whatever, doing whatever, and I'm working, which is good. It's a good thing. Um, so this I made, I kind of went on a scrap kick where I was trying to use up my scraps, which I'm always doing because it's one of my favorite things to do. And I'm sure y'all have seen these little scrap notebooks before. I just stamped on some of the pages and put stickers and all that good fun stuff. And then this here, I was using my scrap, my little pieces of lace and stuff. And I just did a little em embroidered flower here and used some leftover muslin that I had that were just in little pieces. So it's like this whole little book is scraps and it's really pretty so that was a lot of fun to do i was thinking maybe i would do one do a video on one just so i can show you how i did it let me know if you'd be interested in that and then um here i've just got a pocket and i just tuck some stuff in there for myself to use and this is a little um band or printable from amity bloom and so I've got a little pocket here and a pocket back here. And it's, you know, th this is pretty similar to the way I usually do journals. There's not a ton of pockets, but there's just like enough to get me started, you know, enough to spark that interest and, um, you know, just get me motivated to work in it. So this is some vintage fabric here. This is a book page from a vintage, I think it's from the 40s, it might be the 50s, but the illustrations in it are just absolutely gorgeous, and it's a little prayer book, so this one says God's gifts, and I, I just love it, it's so pretty, some ledger paper, and I used a bunch of, you know, my favorite, <clears throat> like I always do, my favorite scrapbook papers, scrapbooking paper is like the thing that I buy the most, like I love paper, for me it's I don't know, I guess it just kind of starts with the paper and goes from there. Um, this is a patch page. I think we maybe did this one together. Yeah, we did this one together. I've got a video on how I made it. Some children's dictionary page, some vintage paper here, some graphic 45 paper. Um, this is the other side of that patch page that we made together. It's so pretty. I love it. This is another little pocket that I stuck in here. So this is like a belly band here. And then this is another Amity Bloom printable. I can't remember what they were called. Oh, and this is another little belly band, belly band type thing. A little envelope. This is um, an illustration from that child craft book that I like to use. I also, um, in my absence, made a bunch of Why doesn't your brain work when you want it to? Like, what in the world? Snippet bowls. And I just embroidered the word happy here. And I, I made a few of these. And I just did, like, different words. Um, I really like how it turned out, though. I put a sewing pattern um, envelope in here. I just had to line it. I had to, like, basically tear it apart and it reinforce it on the inside because it was really fragile. Um, some more of my favorite paper. This is from Farmhouse. I love this paper so much. It's just so pretty. Um, I was in a very purpley, yellowy kind of mood, which was different for me because I'm not a huge fan of purple. 
but I don't know, it was just during this time it was calling my name. Isn't this fabric so pretty? It is vintage and it's like transparent and it's got like these little embossed or like raised little bows, which you, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'll show you. Can you see that? Isn't that so pretty? I got, I found this at a gift shop and I was so excited. But because it's transparent, I was like, what the heck am I going to use this on? Which I guess I could back it, you know, with some fabric underneath it. But I was like, I know, I'll just line pockets with it. And it works. So, um, so yeah, so I hope everybody's doing well. I have really missed um, doing videos and kind of socializing with you guys in the craft community and this is a, another little patch page I did, and I just glued down this little stationary piece here that I love. It's so pretty. But yeah, when I open this up and I look at it, for me, it's like just, you know, it's just a nice spread to be able to work on. It just looks like a lot of fun, you know? So yeah, so things are starting to smooth out in my life, and I'm really, fingers crossed, hoping that I can jump back in it and, you know, get it going. Um, I had someone leave me a really sweet comment and uh, I just, oh gosh, I, I want to say her name was Ann maybe, but um, I just wanted to say your comment brought me so much joy knowing that my videos were helping you and that you learned so much from them. And thank you so much. That was such a sweet comment. I read it to my husband and it just touched my heart. And um, just thank you for that. That was so, so sweet of you. Um, but yeah, and then I've got some more, you know, my vintage papers here that I love the smell of because they, I think they were in, I don't know what kind of wooden box that they came in. It was like this big, huge ledger box, and it, I don't know if it's cedar or what, but they just smell so yummy. Um, just like a, an old wood, but not like a stinky old moldy wood, like a, I don't know, like a refreshing nature wood smell. I know, it's weird, the things that, <laughs> the things that we talk about, right? Um, but yeah, you can see that it's all very, um very bare I guess you know like the bare bones but there's enough to get you started and spark inspiration so yeah and I may I may end up working in both of them I don't I really don't know I know I definitely want to get that other one filled up and this is another patch page that I did here and I stuck this little card here because it reminded me of my daughter when she was little she would push her little her cat around in like um, one of those kid shopping carts and she'd push her all around the house all the time um, and we just thought it was so funny and then this is another um, snippet roll and I just made a side pocket out of it so that is my journal that I'm not sure what I'm gonna use <laughs> my newest one I gotta get the other one filled up or maybe I'll work in this one at the same time so I don't know I just don't know but yes, I'm going to start working on my videos again, and uh, I'm ready to start journaling, and I hope that you guys are doing well, and um, I hope to rekindle our friendship online, and um, I'll be back in just a little bit for this flip through of this journal. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you all have a blessed day.